Hey everybody, Gundam Flexing here. Today I'm going to review the just completed RX 79G EZ8 Gundam from Gundam 08 MS Team. And before we go into the kit, I'm going to go over the extra pieces real quick. First, we have the PC runner. We have both pairs of 8, 11, and 12. 8 is more on those joint connectors. Here's the back part. 11, here it is. And number 12, as such. And then we have this runner, which I left the beams in the beam sabers, of the beam sabers, intact into the runner because I just want to leave the handles inside of the legs, which we'll go over real quickly. But these are the beam sabers. And we have the decal sheet. Boom. You can tell we didn't use all the decals. We have 081 in gray font. We used one on the on the suit on the right shoulder. And then we have both EFFG or excuse me, Earth Federation Ground Force uh, in black font. And I only used the gray font. And we have one leftover gray font. And we have 81, which is on its right chest. So this is an extra one. And we have the Earth Federation symbol. We only used one, so it came in a pair. And then number 12, we have right here, a uh, decal of triangle spacing downwards, and those go on the side of its legs. You're given six total, you only use four. So here they are, not really using a lot. And for the sticker sheet, here it is. We are given four leftovers out of the six. Uh, these gray elongated pieces and they go on the parachute system which we'll cover and here they are and of course the other stickers here here's the red one the far right red is for the front of the helmet the center one is for the back of the helmet and the one on the far left is for its chin we have the green sticker here which goes on its beam rifle right there and then we have the eye piece right here the eye stickers here pieces that you don't see that's on this kit. Here is a closed fist for the left hand. Here's a closed open fist for the right hand. And then we have the machine gun. Comes in several pieces. You have the handle, you have the clip, and it's in white. You have the side handle, and then you have the muzzle. Here. There it is. This rifle is pretty much, or machine gun is pretty much a left seat or left piece and the right piece. You just combine the two together. Very simple. So looking into the kit itself, let's we'll start from top to bottom. The head, the head leaves several places where you could do uh, panel lining. So there are some dark, or excuse me, black spots you see on its mouth area and in the side. There is a radio mount right here. And of course, the eyes are the stickers, the shin, the red piece, the red sticker. And you have the front red sticker here, and then the back red sticker here. This comes in, I think, just like three pieces basically. Well, four. You have the shin piece, and then you have the left, or front part of the helmet, back part of the helmet, and then you have the face itself. It is pretty movable, so turn all the way 360 degrees. Then we look at the chest. Here it is. There's our several stickers right here. You have the actual model number on its left side of the chest, written in very small decals. You have the 081. Of course, we have the extra one on the uh, decal sheet. Then that's it on the chest. What I really think is cool about this chest is that this white plate right here that's covered his chest. Underneath it, if I could take it out, I'm probably not going to risk it. But there's also uh, incredible details underneath that part. So if you were to put this thing through like battle damage, uh, you could pretty much take out one part of his chest and they'll still have details underneath it. Here is his beam rifle. And here's his left trigger hand. There's one sticker here. And of course the beam rifle is very simple. Here's the handle. The gray piece is separate. And then the left and right piece are the uh, pretty much a frame of the rifle itself. Looking at the shoulders, we have 
sticker right here. This is a single piece. You have the Earth Federation symbol, and then you have the acronym and 081. And then on the other side of the shoulder, you just have a very small strip gray. And on the side of the shoulders are where, uh, if you remember in the unboxing video, I didn't know what these were, where they're pretty much just small films that connect the backpack to the parachute. Excuse me, connect the shoulders to the backpack of the parachute. The arms itself, this is a pretty sturdy kit by the way, so the arms itself is pretty mobile. Um, of course it's limited by whatever, uh, however tight you make the, the uh, lining for the parachute system. But this pretty much is on a ball joint as such. And just pop it right in. So there aren't any mobility issues, this thing could squeeze up pretty high, could go back. Again, depending on how tight you make the connectors right here to your parachute system. And on the side it has like the small little side shoulder shield, but it's not movable. There it is, it could again twist around, raise an eye, go back and forth. Pretty nice. And the same thing with the other side. And of course we have the shield, which I want to try to take it out, which is connected to the side of the arm. There it is. There. There's a giant 08 sticker here. And unfortunately, I, unlike the other GM models with a shield similar to this, with the teeth at the bottom, it doesn't extend. So it's pretty much uh, mobile. You know, this is the back part connector piece. It is one of those standards connected to the shield and you connect it to the arm. Uh, connected to the arm, back of the wrist, or back of the arm, excuse me. And then we have the left hand here, which is a closed open fist, as such. Here we look at the waist. The box was spouting that, you know, you could have mobility in the waist, sort of have him lean to the left, lean to the right. Um, not so much immobility in terms of twisting the waist itself or his abdominal. But this does come in two, two pieces. You have the gray piece at the very bottom and then you have the gray piece that connects it to the chest. So yes, in a way it does give you that lean to the left, lean to the right. Looking at its skirt, there are several places where you could do panel lining on the top with the dots. And then here at the bottom with the dots, side of the skirt. And uh, nothing on the back of his skirt since it's covered up by his parachute. Now, in front of the skirt, it is movable, like as such. Here, side of the skirt, you can also move it up barely, barely, but you can. Like that. Looking at his legs, I think his legs are pretty detailed in a way that there's a lot of pieces. It's not just the feet and then connect two pieces of the legs and add on some few things. Rather here, here we're going go and look. So here's his kneecaps and it also has uh, holes here where you can make connectors whatever maybe during repairs. And then look at the back of his legs you have movable skirts right here which one thing about this is that it's not very sturdy in its place. It comes off quite easily, so you really want to check on that as you're posing your model. And then you have the side of the legs, which contains the beam savers. Here you can see a little small opening here, you can put your nails in, open it as such, and you connect your beam savers inside. So just like that Robocop maneuver where he keeps his, uh, right, or his uh, gun in his side legs, except it's not in his thighs. And it's very easy to put it back in. Same goes on with the other side. Just put your nails into it. It'll open. And here they are. The beam sabers fit right in there. It's because there is an opening on the side here. You can see the hole. I want to make sure. There it is. And you just put it in. Fit it nice and tight. And you just slide it right back in its position. Oh. Excuse me. No, oh, I'll put it in later. That's it. And of course you have the four triangle stickers run on here, right here. And then you do the inside and then you do the other leg here and the other one is right here, which we just removed. 
And the front part of its legs, the skirts are a separate piece, which I think is pretty cool. And it could move up and down, up and down. Same with the other side. And the feet comes almost in two pieces, so you could be able to extend his feet and move it up. So it's unlike the some of those few Zaku kits, it's just a single platform. This one comes in two. Yeah, it's a little bit detailed too. There's like hydraulics on the bottom. It's pretty cool. So looking at the backpack itself, there's here's the Earth Federation symbol, and that's one of the decals we used for it. The green piece is basically two pieces. It comes in its own runner, so you have the front and then you have the back. And then you for the thrusters, the bottom part of the like this massive looking rucksack uh, comes in two pieces as well. Then you attach the four thrusters, and how it connects is through its frame. So I just want to try to recall how do I put this in. Oh, there it is. So here, here's the backpack itself, and again, you have this film that runs through it. So just pay attention to the instructions because if you put it upside down, it's a pain. And here, you just really loop it in, and you could choose how much you want to make it, or how loose and tight you want to make it. So it would go into the side of the shoulders, go up, and once you determine your amount of length, then you use the stickers, the gray film strips here and you would tie it off. So there's no cutting involved. You just tie it off and run it through here. You would first actually run it through the parachute system through the shoulders and that's how you would do it. And this is the frame. This is the frame system right here. You have this one here at the bottom of the base which is collapsible. And then for the top two parts it accidentally came out with the uh, parachute system. Here they are. This is it, and this is what would secure the backpack into the, into the, well, I guess like the holster system. And I just want to put this one back in, put this one back in, and there it is. And here it's what it would look like. It's not adjustable, meaning that the frame itself can't move up or down, but the frame does have two thrusters on its side. So if you chose not to use the backpack and the parachute system back part would just look like this. Now what's interesting about it is that I am assuming there are other pieces like accessories you could buy with this kit because the back of the instructions it shows you where is it right here that you could actually attach a backpack to it but unfortunately I'm pretty sure it's a separate maybe accessories because this is, none of the pieces go into this so it's, it's a little disappointing but the backpack the parachute system is pretty dang cool. But for the sake of the build and because I didn't want to put the backpack into, uh, into the box I actually wanted to use it uh, I decided to go build it so let's put it back on. Again, you film strips here. You would open the top latch. Oh, and this, by the way, is comes out very, very easily. Very, very easily. It's, I mean, you can put it in fairly easy as well. But once you lock it in, it should be tight. So there it is. You open it as such. You have the two connectors on the back. Now we're going to the holes where my left thumb is. Let's try to not have anything obstructed. You would slide the two top parts in like this. The bottom part is not secured yet. Connect it once it's secured. Uh, here, here's the bottom. So here we have the top. Both the top parts are inside the parrot top part of the share chute. The bottom part is not secured yet. We'll have it run like this. And then you just throw it in as such. Boom. There it is. And you just have the two lines just dangle at its back side. It's like that. Overall, great model. It's pretty sturdy. I like the color scheme. The tan, and then basically it's like a very light beige with the military blue, and then of course 
we have the green parachute, but I think the color scheme works very well. Nothing that you need to put a top coat or anything unless if you want to do a battle damage or weathering on it, which would be pretty cool. Overall, enjoy the build. Uh, it's pretty sturdy, as I said before. There are a few things that you want to note, such as the small details, like where these are, might be like giant screws or whatever, but don't don't pay attention and let's don't try to move them thinking that the nubs. I almost did that. I, I thought there were nubs and I was about to peel them out, but good thing I did not. Recommend this kit, it's like only 15 bucks. And that's all I have for today's review. No complaints on it so far. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment section below and I'll get right to them. Other than that, keep your eyes out for the next unboxing video and I will see you all next time. Peace out.